afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Converge here in Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, sitting alongside my co-host and analyst, Rob Strache. Rob, everyone here has converged around NetApp, the partners, customers, competitors. It's a, it's a really exciting afternoon. Yeah, I, I think so. I think you joined that. We just had Sandeep uh, on with uh, Bob and Carmen talking about the AI pod that Lenovo, NVIDIA, and NetApp brought together. And I think what's interesting is really hearing how that impacts the partners, because they're the ones where the rubber meets the road, they're out there with the customers really bringing it, because that's how NetApp goes to, you know, goes to market, so this is a great one to, to jump into. Excellent, well I'd like to welcome Connor Waddell to theCUBE. He is the SVP Integrated Technology Solutions at CDW. Welcome to theCUBE. Yeah, excited to be here, really excited. Yeah, so I, I want to start out by having you really talk in, in broad strokes. The world is exceedingly complex. There are so many pressures on organizations today um, to innovate and, and to stay ahead of the curve. What are some of the biggest challenges that you see your customers dealing with today? Yeah, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you three. Okay. Right, there's more than three, but I'll, I'll give you three. So first, you know, I uh, just you know, have to talk about AI, right? So what we're seeing you know, is it really customers looking at how you get to practical application of AI. So there's a lot of AI that's embedded in what we do and what we sell or what we represent on a day in, day out basis. Uh, and when we're, so we're focused on producing real outcomes that leverages that technology. On the other side of the coin, you have clients that are really thinking about their competitive advantage to their customers and their competitors. And then AI is a much broader topic that really can have uh, almost unbound uh, application. So. The thing though that, you know, as we're here at Converge, really thinking about is the, the common element to all of that is the data that links all of that together. We'll get to, a little bit to that later, but some of the announcements that we've heard here, right, have really uh, been exciting as we think about taking the first steps around providing a common data infrastructure that a customer can leverage for AI application. Um, I'll go quickly on the other two. Uh, so we're also hearing a lot around customers thinking about lock-in, right? Whether it's their hypervisor platform, thinking about uh, consuming in different areas, uh, really thinking about multi-cloud, but more way we think about is the customer's cloud that consumes infrastructure from uh, premise or cloud-based uh, sources. And third is really cybersecurity threat, kind of that uh, kind of crosses the spectrum in everything that we do. Everything must be secure by design as bad actors are constantly looking to disrupt our customers' businesses, and we have to make sure that we're always one step ahead of them. Yeah, and I think, again, it, when you start to look at it, it, it is that outcome-driven nature that really CDW has always excelled at, and working with those deeply, uh, you know, with the customers themselves, and bringing that technology together with it. How do you see the partnership with NetApp and what they announced today with the AFF 1K and the AI pod with Lenovo and NVIDIA really solving some of those challenges? Yeah, so I was thinking about the, the announcements today. The best I came up with analogy-wise was allowing customers to have their cake and eat it too uh, on a couple of fronts, right? So with the all-flash announcements, being able to get both performance uh, and features, right, at the same time, not having to make a trade-off Right, allows, you know, really as we were talking about earlier on multi-cloud and hybrid cloud, thinking about uh, data portability and being able to you know, turn on replication, all those things are now, uh, you're able to do that while also being performant with the systems that you have. Uh, same, if you think about uh, AI and really being the, with the NVIDIA announcements, but thinking about the, uh, what we heard today, creating a silo-less environment where Likely the data already resides on NetApp systems, but as we move forward, a customer is able to work with NetApp uh, to put both, you know, traditional, run traditional workloads, but also run their, you know, AI infrastructure with uh, NetApp, you know, as the, you know, as the back end. Yeah, and I, I think one of the themes that we've heard beyond ecosystem partnership, and uh, again, at Converge this week, has really been about built in. And you kind of yes. hit on that a little bit. That's got to be pretty important to your customers that it's built in. It's not like, hey, here's another sidecar or another you know, product I have to go in. That you guys get bring a solution, but the NetApp is built in with all the NetApp software. Yeah, I think you know, in this world of you know, expounding an exponential complexity, you know, the more that we can drive uh, simplicity, predictability, repeatability, 
Uh, and you know, the ability to really stand behind what we're doing, uh, the better, right? So we think about that a lot of in our ecosystem play, you know, thinking about how do we codify the different elements of that. And when you have a partner or a, you know, with NetApp uh, that has that built-in capability, it makes it that much uh, it makes it faster, right, to produce an outcome for a client, but also more reliable and predictable. And a lot simpler. Simpler, yeah. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we have enough complexity in everything we do, right, so the more that you can simplify, right, again, one system, uh, you know, being able to get performance and feature, right, those are things that uh, I think really are going to resonate with our with our customers. So, how, so you've talked about how customers are benefiting, but what about partners? How are they be, being able to unlock new offerings with these new announcements? I mean, it's a. Uh, I mean, I think the, this is a opportunity for us to jointly interface with our clients in a brand new way. I mean, we've been you know a partner of NetApps for over 20 years, and it's a been a tremendous partnership. But the ability to come back and say, hey, we have a, a new release, we have, uh, you know, maybe it's it's time for us to evaluate what we did in the past, we have a refresh, or hey, you're, you made a different decision, or you know, uh, years ago, it's time for us now to come back to the table uh, and evaluate NetApp, right? So I think that, uh, you know, as a, a partner uh, of NetApps, it's really been, you know, a company that's cared about their ecosystem and taking care of really care about the health of their partnerships, and it's one that we're you know, proud to be a part of. Yeah, I, I, think, I think that's one of the big keys is how they work with and actually listen to their partners and bring that back in to understand how to craft solutions to go to market. Is, are you seeing that, again, you know, be it from a data protection or data compliance, and that's really some of the keys that they're building into these solutions that your customers are asking for? Yeah, I, you know, I mentioned cybersecurity briefly. You know, when we're talking about cybersecurity, we're talking about risk, governance, compliance at a top level to a CISO or a you know, customer executive. And then we're really trying to, we work to quantify with the solutions we're providing, the offset and monetize, like what the, what's the offset and risk? So if you think about, you know, again, NetApp, the world's most secure storage platform, that makes that easier right? than to say, all right, we're building in uh, you know, systems where we can you know, build a system that's GDPR compliant, uh, that we can look at you know, different features to combat you know, risk against ransomware, right? And we build that into the systems we're, we're designing, which then allows us to go back to the client and say, this is how end to end we're reducing risk in your, in your environment. So Connor, I know you're going to be up on the main stage later yeah. this afternoon. What are, what are you hoping to take with you back um, from this conference, from being here at Converge? What, what are, what are, what's on your mind right now? So, you know, we've, we all have, like, we've constantly been striving to innovate, right? So you know, we've added capabilities on cloud, security, platforms that run our customers' business. We're connecting those really, really interesting ways. At the end of the day, this is 100% a people business, and you know, the ability to take part in the sales kickoff and the energy that we're seeing, the messaging that we're seeing, the announcements we're seeing, really allow us to get connected on the mission, the customer mission, and go out and jointly execute that. So for me, this is all about like the people, it's all about renewing relationships, it's about getting aligned on strategy to say, hey, here's, here's where I think that we can do better for our clients uh, in the coming year, let's go out and, and make that happen. To me, that's the, that's worth the, the flight to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of momentum, and, and as yeah. you said, great messaging. Connor Waddell, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Yeah, great thanks conversation. For me. I'm Rebecca Knight for Rob Stretch. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Converge. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise technology news, coverage, and analysis.